Hello Fandroid, this is your friendly neighborhood outlaw doing a quadrant comparison between my Motorola Droid X that I got at launch of last year and my new LG G2X which I just picked up last week. Uh, the DX represents the best of 2010 and it's still a very very competent phone. It hasn't uh, dropped off near as much as what some people might have you think. It's a extremely capable device still. Uh, the GX, the G2X rather, is uh, represents the new incoming dual core processing phones. They're both one gigahertz processors in in both phones, but this is the the dual core and that's the single core. So I'll turn on the screens here, and we have. We have Quadrant ready to run, so we'll try to hit this both at the same time. Okay, well, didn't I hit that? Okay, so the DX is going to have a little head start here, but it won't make a difference in the score. I don't know if uh, it shows through on this camera or not, but... The, uh, the colors on the G2X screen are a lot more vibrant. Uh, nothing against the DX screen. I've, I've grown to love uh, the trueness of the colors in the DX, but uh, I also appreciate the, the very bright, vibrant colors on the G2X. <clears throat> Okay, so the DX is done. We'll get that one. And on the G2X, I don't know if you can read those from here, so I'll try to come in. On the DX, we have a score of 1634. I don't know if you can read that or not on here. And on the G2X, we got 2443. So and uh, let me just say that the only thing I've done to the G2X is root it. I rooted it within 24 hours of having it. The DX, uh, I've done, uh, well, I've, I've slapped quite a few custom ROMs on there. Right now it's running the first leak, the first gingerbread leak. I haven't upgraded the leaks because I didn't think I needed to. But So I think it's running a little bit faster than what it did on Froyo. So there's a difference between the uh, two devices. Thank you.